Rocker knows that a router table sees a lot of duty in the average woodworking shop, so he made a very tough stand to go underneath it. This stand is all steel and comes with some really good hardware. This stand comes with adjustable rubber feet that are fine if you can leave the router table stand in one place, but if you gotta move it, you need casters. The Rockler caster set rolls very easily, and when you step on a lever, it locks both the wheel and the spindle so it can't turn. Flip the lever back up and you can roll it away. And the stand has pre-drilled holes on the top to make it easy to secure to the router table top. The high pressure laminate table is an inch and an eighth thick and 24 by 32 inches long. That gives you over 5 square feet of work area. And it comes fully machined so we know everything is very accurate. The opening is 8 and a quarter by 11 and 3 quarter by a quarter inch deep and it accepts most router plates or lift plates. And it comes with full leveling and locking capabilities for the plate. And it comes with a dual track system built in that's good for 5 16 T bolts or quarter hex bolts as well as regular miter gauges. And that track runs the full width of the table. The fence has high pressure laminate faces that are easily adjusted in or out and come with a machine slot that makes attaching jigs or fixtures much easier. And to keep you safer, this table comes with this adjustable bit guard. The fence is supported by this very heavy aluminum extrusion. And notice the full width channel along the top that makes attaching stops or jigs much easier. These knobs on the rear of the fence let you adjust the fence faces quickly and easily. You can get this table with one of these very tough aluminum plates. Rockler has several of these plates and has the listings on their website for all of the routers that these cover. For my table, I chose the Rockler Aluminum FX lift plate. This plate drops right into this table with no modifications needed. All plates look pretty cool from on top, but it's what's underneath that really counts. And you can see that there's no fooling around with all the hardware beneath the plate. You can also see the Porter Cable 690L motor that I chose for this outfit. The motor carriage is guided by these centerless ground shafts. They keep it moving perfectly straight up and down. This fine threaded shaft is what moves the router up and down when you turn the handle. This mechanism lets you adjust how much tension there is on the screw and that works like a brake so the router doesn't move up or down unexpectedly. And if you need to take the router out for handheld use, you just flip this lever open and that unlocks the router and the motor slides right out. This muscle truck eliminates having to use wrenches to change bits. This truck screws onto the router in place of the collet. To secure or loosen the bit, you use a hex key rather than those wrenches that kept pinching our fingers. This truck also makes it a lot easier to change bits above the table. And though I can't figure out why you'd run it that high, this truck does fit through the insert. Another must-have is this standard six-piece accessory kit for the router table. It gives you three feather boards and three inserts. The feather boards install easily and help keep the wood flat on the table while you're routing. The third feather board goes in the miter track and helps keep the wood firmly against the fence while you're routing it. The fence has a dust port built into it, and this three-piece kit from Rockler lets you make full use of your shop vac or dust collector. So you think we're all set to route some wood? Not quite. Here's one last thing that everybody should have. The large paddle on this safety switch makes it easy to turn the router off with your leg. Push the green button to start the router. Then when you're done, you just bump the paddle with your knee and the router shuts off. You don't have to let go of the wood or drop whatever you've got in your hand. So if you're looking to add a router table to your shop, you need to look at the offerings that Rockler has. They have several different packages available to get the one that fits your shop the best. And remember the casters, because when you get done routing, you're going to need that room for something else. <laughs> <laughs>